What's up, nerds? My name is Chai, and welcome to Stories Untold. Um, I don't know too much about it other than it's a kind of a compilation of the four different episodes. I haven't played it yet. Uh, whiskey, no. Uh, it's text adventures, so typing. Alright. Interesting. I didn't know that. Look around, go to, and open commands are your friends. Darkness. Uh, what? The house abandoned. Titles, please. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove bus before going in. It's good to be back. Look in the glove box? The glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Open the glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Look at the note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Pull up to the driveway and park the car. Start with... Uh, get out of the car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Go to back yard? Where would you like to go? Go to back yard. Take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look for the generator. The old gauge is healthy and is manually operated. Start the generator. Switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Go inside. Sorry, I don't understand. Go to front door. You walk back around to the front of the house. The house, uh... I don't want to wait. Open front door. Door appears to be locked. You will need to use the key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open the door. Step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Turn on the lights. Flip the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here as well as a set of stairs going up. Uh, go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. Kitchen is tidy and woke up. There's a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Go to utility room. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Look around kitchen. 
It's very clean and tidy. Not been used in a while. Go to living room. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, to hallway? Go back out to the hallway. The hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go to living room. Step inside the living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. We spend a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There's nothing here of interest. Guess we'll go upstairs? We walk upstairs to the landing. Stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures are drawn on the walls, images of happy times. Standard landing, picture frames covering one wall. Go to bed. Go. Which bedroom? Your room or your sister's? Go to my sister's room. Walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. Few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned in a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgic trip. There is also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Open ward. Oh. It is empty, apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. They are all identical. A forest road at night, you put them back. To landing. Step back onto the landing. Stairwell landing. Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. I don't want to open that yet. Standard bedroom, a desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. Can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Right. Oh, is, that's what this computer is. Set up computer. Start to plug in the various cables and leads. Computer's all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. What game? New horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. Play game. Put the cassette in the computer and press play. Uh... What? Oh! Get out! Clearly neglected. Open glove box. Inside is key and a handwritten note. That note. Is it different? I don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out. Get out the car. Um. I wasn't expecting that. Out. Uh, car. Force the warp car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There was a yard to the side, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. What happened? Go to backyard? Step through the debris to the backyard. 
Grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the sides of the house. It's not a nice place to be. Clutch the note, needing to look around. There's an old generator next to you. Start generator. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, that's so cool. Oh no, the pictures have lines on them now. Go back to the front of the house. This is actually really cool. I know this is like the remastered original game. Use key, unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Open door. You luckily step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Turn on light. Right of what you may see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet, and the scent is unbearable. Someone else in this house. This can't be. Stop. Wait, what's happening? Make a stop, make a stop, make a stop. Somehow the alarm stops. You feel the panic set in. Still in the hallway, the noise stops, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding? Go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister. sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all up the wall, but something is different about them. Behind the door, phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Answer phone? Here, I'm the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out the phone and the room. Whoever's in there should not be in there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. You can see the I don't understand what's going on. Relief. Go into sister's room. Oh man. Go into sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go into my room. Door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. I code. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Unlock. Door? Grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. Nine, 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 nine. You need a working forged code. You know it's in this house somewhere. Let go of the lock. Same but different. Uh, go down. Go back downstairs. Still in the hallway. Oh, we feel present. Oh, it's that one. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. Kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. Tabletops are rusted metal. And there's a carcass on the table. There's writing on the wall. The utility room has a red X painting on it. Look at carcass. You look closer but can't tell what it is or what it was. Look at writing. It's blood. The number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Oh, so I think our code just might be 1986.
You head up the stairs to where the noise came from. Look at pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Like these ones back here. Oh, you can see the 1986 behind the wall or behind the lamp. This is interesting. Go to my room. Their door is bolted shot. Open the lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. Key in your hand weighs heavy. One, nine, eight. The lock clicks open. Go. Stop it. Let me go to my room. door is closed. Open the door. You open the bedroom door. Photos are on the wall, all misaligned. Go into the room. You enter your bedroom. Bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Look around. You see me sitting there, helpless. You edge closer. Look at me. I don't want to turn around. I can't look at you. What do I do? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Um, look at computer. Sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punished me. I can be with me you now. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. I don't believe you like you mean it, please. It It was all my fault. It was all my fault. Finally. I'm so confused! Interesting. That's really interesting. I forgot though. I'm playing this off Epic because it was on one of the um, it was one of the free games for a week, but that means I don't have achievements. Interesting. But yeah, this has been Stories Untold Episode One. If you want to see more, let me know down below. I'll probably do at least the next one or two, and we'll see how it goes. But I liked it. It was pretty interesting. I wonder if the stories all connect. Hi, Whiskey. But, yeah. So let me know what you thought down below. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And I will see you in the next video. But until next time, don't trust abandoned houses. Because it's all your fault. Also, Whiskey loves you. Bye.